Hi everyone, this is K. Kavita, Assistant Professor in Master of Computer Applications in Madanapal Institute of Technology and Science. Today we are discussing about Python introduction. See, these are the contents in Python introduction, uh, basic Python definition and history, and what are the features in Python, the basic program, how we are written in Python, and what why, where we are using this Python, and what are the main data types available in the Python. So these are the main data types, number types and sequence types, list, tuple, dictionary, boolean and set. So coming to the Python definition, Python is a general purpose and dynamically typed high level compiled and interpreted garbage collected and purely object oriented programming language. See general purpose means generally we can use this language for read and write purpose and dynamically typed. See wherever the, the programming language which is called dynamically typed means where the variable we can assign at runtime. At a runtime, whenever the variable we can assign runtime, that is called as a dynamically typed language. High level language. High level language means, see here, we are having the compiled and interpreted as well as a high level language. Python is one of the high level programming language. Here, it is very easy and uh, Re easy to read and write. So compiled and interpreted. But here Python is having compilation language as well as the interpreted programming language. Compiled means we can convert the main source code into the machine code, machine level code. That is nothing but a compiled language. And interpreted language means Python is one of the best interpreted com programming language, we can convert that main language and we can execute the program's uh, instructions uh, that is nothing but interpreted language. Garbage collected. Garbage collected means what is happening here, all the instructions and program source code wherever it is required, uh, free space. So it is uh, uh, remove the all unused objects, it will remove the all unused objects, it will collect only the used objects that is nothing but a garbage collected. And Python is one of the purely object oriented programming language purely object oriented means it is it is depends on the classes and objects so class is nothing but it is a collection of objects so suppose for example we are taking the uh, class vehicle is a class uh, so for that we can take objects as a car motor cycles and uh, bus these are the objects of the class then it is one of the functional programming language so python we are Having the Python, these all the features, general purpose language and dynamically typed language, high level programming language, compiled and interpreted programming language, as well as it is a garbage collected. So we can uh, remove all the unused objects. So that's why we can call it as a garbage collector language and highly it is a programming object oriented programming language. So Python, coming to the history of the Python, it is created by the Guido van Rosen. In the late 1980s, the Guido van Rosen, he is the person who is a Dutch programmer. He began working on the Python while at the CWI. CWI is nothing but Centrum, Centrum Wisdom Informatica. It is in the Netherlands, it is there. He wanted to create one successor programming language of the ABC. So for that, he created and invented this Python language. In the February 1991, the first public version of Python version 0.90 was released. This marked as the official birth of Python. See, it is one of the open source project language. See, Python language, why he is naming this a language as a Python. The main reason is the uh, Guido van Rosen, he is the uh, fan of one BBC show, TV show. That is uh, the BBC show name is Monty Python's Flying Circus. So he is very much fan of that one. That's why he want to uh, put uh, his invention as a, also one of the mysterious name. Like that, uh, for that only he make that name as a Python. So Python developed has gone through the several stages. See, in the 1994, Python 1.0 was released as usable and stable programming language. This version is included. Many of the features are still present in the Python today we are using. So, from 1990s to the 2000s, Python gained popularity for its simplicity, readability, and its versatility. So, in the October 2000, Python 
2.0 was released and python 2.0 introduced in the comprehensions garbage collections and support for unique code so here in the 9 2018 december 3.0 python 3.0 release version was be released so python 3.0 introduced several backward in incompatible changes so python software foundation this was established in 2001 for prompting and promote and to advance the python programming language and its community so this is the history of the python so next we are moving to the features of the python features of python means it is very easy to read dynamically typed and high level programming language and compiled and interpreted garbage collected purely object oriented cross platform compatibility and rich standard library as well as open source see easy to read by easy to read, easy to use and read means python it is having the syntax which is very clear and very easy to read so making it an ideal language for both beginners and experienced programmers so both the beginners as well as the experienced programmers they can easily they can use and easily they can read this proton programming language why because it is simply like english language how the english language we can use simply here also python we can uh, learn so this simplicity can lead to faster development and reduce the chances of errors so dynamically typed dynamically typed means uh, the data type of variables are determined during run time we do not need to specify the data type of variable during the writing of any code high level language see here is we are having the human readable codes so that is nothing but high level language compiled and interpreted means python code first gets the compiled into byte code and then interpreted by the line by line it will be interpreted in python every line by line it will be interpreted that is nothing but a compiled and interpreted language so garbage collected next thing garbage collection means memory allocation and deallocation are automatically managed programmers do not specify any manage of the memory in this python so next feature of python is purely object oriented programming language so it refers to everything as an object including numbers and strings cross platform compatibility next feature is cross platform compatibility so here python can be easily installed on windows mac os and various linux distributions allowing developers to create a software that runs across different operating systems so we can run this python language in any software or any lin os any operating system or any devices we can run that's why we can call this python as a cross platform compatibility okay next a rich standard library rich standard means python comes with several standard libraries that provide ready to use modules so functions also it is having various tasks also it is having it is ranging from web development and data manipulation to machine learning and also networking so here that way we can call this python language as a rich standard library language so finally open source open source means python is an open source because it is a cost free programming language it is utilized in several sectors and disciplines it as a result so next we can move to the basic python program so basic python program it is an excellent choice for rapid development and scripting task whereas java emphasizes strong type of system and object oriented programming here are some see suppose in java if you want to write simply hello world means we have to write many steps how means sir we have to write we have to take the header files and we have to make a public static void main string aux inside we have to give system dot out dot print ln in there we have to give the hello world but whereas comes to the python language if you want to print the hello world single line we can mention what is that printing hello world means the code is uh, print of hello world simple it's very simple right see python code how we can write print of anything whatever the thing you want to print simply print of hello world you can give you can print the word see here the output will be hello world so where python used see these are the ways we can use the 
Python. Python can be used in data science, de desktop applications, console based applications and mobile applications, software development and artificial intelligence. See artificial intelligence is nowadays it is having emerging technology. It is a, one of the emerging technology and web applications. See data science. Coming to the data science. Uh, how we can use this python language see data science is uh, having vast field and python is an important language in this field so for any simplicity or for using any easy of use and availability of powerful data analytics and visualization libraries like numpy pandas and matplotlib matplot we are using this in the python while using this all the features we can get uh, good data visualization and analytics in the data science so next we can use this python in the desktop application see suppose in our uh, laptops or systems we are having the calculator desktop applications and calendar desktop applications like that we are having many desktop applications so here while using this python we can develop the desktop applications also so here we can use PYQT and Tkinter. These are the two modules, two features, useful libraries we can use for the graphical user interface based on desktop applications. There are better languages for this field, but it can be used with other languages for making the applications. Then console based application. Console based applications means Python is also commonly used to create command line or console based applications so we can use it to create a command line as well as a console based applications because of its easy of use and support for advanced features such as input or output redirection and piping so next we can use this python in the mobile applications mobile applications means wherever we are having the android applications or mobile applications there also we can use our python see while python is not commonly used for creating any mobile applications it can also still combined with the frameworks like kiwi kiwi is one of the library we can use in the python we were to create a cross-platform mobile applications so we are using these two libraries for creating the mobile applications see software development python is considered as a it is considered for the best software making language see you can ask earlier also python is there but nowadays only when it is developed python is developed in 1991 so but python language will be introduced and python language will be more uh, emerging technology when it will become nowadays only it will become the more emerging technology why because of using this ai and data science because of using this ai and data science nowadays we are using for data analyzation and data visualization analytics purpose we are using these two languages for these two we must and should use the python language so if you are learning the python language you can easily go with this two emerging technologies what are the data science and artificial intelligence so artificial intelligence coming to the artificial intelligence ai is one of the emerging technology and python is a perfect language for this ai artificial intelligence and machine learning because of the availability of more powerful libraries such as tensorflow keras and pystorch okay next web applications web applications means we can develop many web applications like flipkart amazon so many web applications whatever the applications we can use for a website that also we can create while using this uh, python so these are the main places main technical fields we can use the python that's why we can call nowadays this python will be very popular and emerging technology so if you learn this python means you can use the python language all these uh, technologies so next we are moving to the python data types see python data type data type is nothing but see why we have to use this data type what is before going to the data type we will discuss about the variable 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 is nothing but it is a variable is a value which is used for storing any value so variable is the thing which is used for storing any value that means uh, here if we want to declare any value or any string or any thing 
that you can store with the variable you can store in the variable every value has a whatever the value you are storing that value should be has a data type and variables can hold the values python is a very powerfully composed language it is we don't have any characterized the sort of variables while announcing it see interpreter binds the value implicitly to its type see here we are giving some of the examples of this python data types i declared here a equals to 10 b equals to high python high python here we are giving the word high python c equals to 10.5 it is a number data type it is a string data type and it is a float data type so if i am asking that to print this type of variable print of type of a that means if i am asking to print this type of this variable a it will print this type because it is an integer data type so number data type it will print the type of the a value is type type is a specifically it will mention the type as int so next print type of b so it is a string data type because two words will be combined string data type that way we can call single character is nothing but a character but group of characters we can mention as a strings group of characters we can mention as a string that's why type of b if i ask it to print means it will print the type of string type string that type is a string print type c so c variable is storing the data type 10.5 means float data type so it prints the type of float type float so next move into the data types see these are the data types available in the python variable can contain the variety of values on the other hand a person's id must be stored as an integer variable can contain a variety of values see here it is having integers it is just represents the integer means person id person id employee id or anything integer values it may be represented as a integers their names or numbers or uh, any uh, places names well, all these will be stored as an strings the storage method for each of the standard data type that python provides is specified by the python the following is the python data types these are the python data types available in the python see these are the data types numeric dictionary boolean set sequence type again in the numeric data type we are having three different types integer data type complex data type and float data type so dictionary as well as boolean as well as set 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 finally we are having sequence data types in sequence again it will be categorized into three data types that are string list tuple so next we are moving to the numbers next slide is numbers what is a number data type number data type inside we are can have integer data type float data type and complex data types see numeric values are stored in the numbers whatever the numerical things numeric values that all the things will be stored as in a numbers whole number or a float and complex qualities have a place with the python numbers data type python offers the type function to determine variables data type it, it will determine the variable data type the instance capability is utilized to check whether an item is placed with a specific class so whether the particular item is placed with the specific class or not it will be specified so here we are having the three different types of numbers so a equals to 5 first variable a equals to 5 b variable b equals to 40.5 c equals to 1 plus 3.3 so a equals to 5 if i mentioned means what is the type of this variable the type of a is a integer type so i am asking to print print of so for asking the printing of the data type so how i can take the print whatever the sing double quotes if you are mentioning that will be printing automatically the type of a here i am asking type of a right so type of a means which type it is which type so the class will be integer data type so it will print the type of a class int that the class will be int it will be printed so next b equals to 40.5 print we are asking that print the type of b type of a 
B. Type of B within the double quotes we are mentioning that will be printed as it is. Then we are asking to print the type of B. So type of B will be floating data type. So it will print as a class float. Class float. Next C equals to 1 plus 3J. That is a complex data type. That is a complex data type. If we are printing the type of C, the type of C, here we are asking to print the type C. So the type of C is class complex, complex data type. See, finally, we are asking that print C is a within the double quotes. It will be whatever the things within the double quotes that will be printed as it is. So C is a complex number, comma, is an instance. We are checking that whether it is a true or not. Is instance means 1 plus 3j, comma, complex. So this value 1 plus 3j is a whether it is a complex data type or not. So if we are checking, we are asking that is instance of 1 plus 3j, comma, complex. Yes, it is true. If it is true means it will display true because this is a complex number that's why it will print at the true value. Next, we are moving to the sequence data type. Sequence data types nothing but strings, string data types. The sequence of characters, a group of characters in the quotation box, whether it is a double quotation or single quotation or triple quotation, that is nothing but a group of characters is nothing but a string. So it is described as the string. A string can be defined in Python using the single quotations or double quotations or triple quotes. While dealing with the strings, the operation, see suppose here operation hello plus Python, it returns as a what we are doing here, we are making to Combine the two strings, hello plus python. Hello is a one string and python is a one string. We are adding two strings. It returns hello python. The operator plus is used for combining two strings. We are combining the two strings, hello and python. So we are using the operator plus. Plus will be used for combining the two strings. So next example one, see here str string using double quotes. We are using that string using double quotes is a string 1. So print str. If I am asking to print str means it will print this whatever the uh, string available in within the double quote that entire value will be printed. What is that string using double quotes? Next s equals to within the triple quote triple sorry triple quotes we are mentioning that it is a multi-line string so multi-line purpose we can use the triple quotes triple quotes so triple quotes we are asking to print uh, so if we are asking to print means it will print the it is a multi-line string so next we are moving to the next example so same string we are having the example two see Example 2, str1. str1 means here you, I am making hello Kavita. It is my string 1. So, how are you? It is my string 2. Both the two strings I take, string 1, string 2. Print str1 of printing first two characters using slice operator. First two characters using slice operator. So, here see here 0. It starts from 0 to 2. So, where it is in the first string. First string, so wherever the value we are declared for a variable, it starts from the, the range will be starting from the 0 to n minus 1. 0 to n minus 1. So, first value will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that it will come. So, 0 to n minus 1, the length will be there of the string. String length will be 0 to n minus 1. So, for that str of str1 of 0 to 1 if I asked means what it will print it will print the first two characters so 0 1 but it will not print the 2 it excludes the value of the range 2 and it will print only the before range of 2 so 0 1 up to 1 only it will print so it will print only first two characters next string uh, next we are asking print str1 of 4 print str1 of 4 means it will print the fourth character. What is the fourth character here? That character will be printed. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Fourth character is wo. Wo. That wo will be printed. So, first is I want to print the string of 0 to 2 means first two characters he. He will be print string str1 of 4 means fourth characters wo. Wo will be printed. Next, print 
product of str1 into 2 printing that string will be twice that means what we are doing we are giving the multiplication operator multiplication operator means it will print that particular string as a twice two times it will print so that string one what are the what is the value we are having hello kavita hello kavita hello kavita two times it will be printed so print str1 plus str2 printing the concatenation of str1 and str2 so it will do that first string and second string concatenation so first string hello kavita then we combine that how are you so i explained the last last slide like, like that we can do combining of two strings first string one first second string two so hello kavita and how are you both will be combined so next we are moving to the list list is a python List in Python or like a array in C. So, but list can contain a data of different types. This is having a rundown or isolated with a comma. It is en encased inside the square sections. So to gain access the list data, we can use the slice operator. So if we want to access the list data, we need the slice operators like how they work with the strings. Same like that we can use in the lists also the list is handled by the concatenation operator and the repetition operator so in the list we can use the concatenation operator as well as the repetition operator see list example see here list example first one example list one we are having the these are the values one hi python 2 so list is nothing but it is a heterogeneous data type elements we can store in the different types of elements in a list so one is integer it is a string it is a string and the one year in one more thing it is a number type so numbers as well as the string type simultaneously we can store in the single list so list this is the list one so we are checking the type of a given list if i are asking to check the type means print type of list one so for print type of what is the list one so if we are asking this means it will print the list so because it is a list right list means it will be enclosed within the square brackets so square brackets if we are mentioning the values means it is nothing but a list so it reveals the output as a class list so next print list one printing the list one if we are asking to print the list one means whatever the values here that completely it will be printed so list slicing now we are moving to the slicing concept list slicing print list one of three is two. three means three needs after third value whatever the elements will be there all will be printed so what is that zero one two three three what is we are having only third element will be there so in list one third element will be shown so third element will be two the two will be printed next last list is slicing so next slicing list one of zero to two zero zero means so zero one two so it explores the last elements it prints only before elements so from starting zero to before elements of element two so zero to one first element one second element hi that will be printed next is uh, list concatenation using the plus operator plus operator you see how we can make a uh, concatenation so print list one plus list two so here we are print we are concatenating means all the elements will be added as well as next again it will be repeated so again it will be repeated adding so list repetition using star operator star means repetition will be there so here we are mentioning this multiplication operator that is a star operator three times we need to repeat so that list three times it will be printed one comma high comma python comma two comma one comma again it will be printed from first to last one high python two then again one high python two like this we can do the list operations okay next tuple in how many tuple is like a list it is also one like a list but uh, it also contains a collection of items from various data types so here we are using the parenthesis but where in the list we are using the square brackets but here we are using the parenthesis to separate the tuples components from one to another because we cannot alter the size or value of the item in a tuple it is ready 
uh, read only data structure because it is a read only data structure we cannot change that uh, tuple data structures so example for this tuple see here we are taking the example checking the type of tuple for that we are asking to print type of tuple it will print the tuple type so class tuple it will print next printing the tuple so whatever the values in the tuple that will be printed hi python 2 next tuple slicing we are making the slicing how we are doing in the list same here we are doing in the tuple also so tap of 1 is 2 that means it represents that 0 1 from 1 to all over the all values will be here displayed so whatever the values here we are having python 2 so it is 0 it represents 1 it is 2 so 1 after how many values will be there all will be printed python comma 2 then afterwards print tuple of 0 is to 2 0 is to 1 0 is to 1 means 0 to 1 so 0 means high 0 1 so it will not print the index value of 1 it will not print the index value of 1 why because it omits it excludes the value it excludes the last value it prints only the before value so only high will be printed tuple concatenation using plus operator plus operator we will make the concatenation means so we are adding two times tuple so it will be concatenated high python 2 and high python 2 likewise it will come then repetition with the star operator so for repetition also print tuple star 3 print tuple of star 3 here what we are using so three times it will be printed high python 2 high python 2 high python 2. this is the output so if i am adding the value to the tuple it will throw an error i already told you tuple is an immutable data type so we cannot change the data type in the tuples the value in the tuple so that's why if we are adding any value to the tuple it will show an error t of 2 equals to hi see already t of 2 we are having the value 2 but if we want to change the high means it will throw an error as a tuple object not supported the item assignment so like that it will shows the type error it is not supported the item assignment next we are moving to the dictionary concept dictionary is nothing but it is a key value pair set arranged in any order it stores a specific value for each key like an associative array or a hash table like an associative array or a hash table value is an any python object while the key can hold any primitive data type here we are having the keys can hold the primitive data type and the value is having the objects see comma will be used for the curly braces which will be separated the items in the dictionary see next we are seeing the dictionary example see dictionary d equals to one here it is a key sorry key is a one the value will be zimmy first key we are assigned as a value zimmy second key two we are assigned as a value alex that is a next third key we are assigning value uh, assigning value john so like that three three items will be there for each three each item we are having the keys as well as the values so values we have to mention within the single quotes printing the dictionary if i want to print the dictionary print d accessing values using keys so if i want to accessing the values print first name is so first print d means it will print the complete dictionary complete dictionary it will print it if i want to access the values using keys first name is that i have to use the concatenate operator dictionary of that means d of first element d of first element is that it will print first name is jimmy that value only it will be print next d of one means value only it will be print second name is d of four four what is the value we are having mike that value will be print then d dot keys if i want to print all the key values it will print the it uh, how what is the syntax for that print of d comma sorry print of d dot keys print of d dot keys means it will print the all keys one two three four if i want to print the values means print of d dot values dict values it will print the output as a dict values so what are the values we are having jimmy alex john mike so dict keys what are the keys we are having one two three four if i want to print the output for these two statements d dot keys d dot values means dict keys dict values like this 
it will be printed dict keys these are the values dict values these are the values so next we are moving to the boolean concept so true and false two default values for the boolean data type for the boolean data type true false boo are the default data types these qualities are utilized to decide the given assertion valid or misleading the class book indicates this it will indicates this false can be represented by the zero the letter f while true can be represented by any value that is not a zero so false that means p it will be represented zero but true we can mention with the t as well as a any value so boolean examples so boolean python see here in python print type of true print type of false that means uh, these two are a boolean data types if i am asking to print this type of true type of false means these two are the boolean data types it prints as a class bool class of bool because true false both are the boolean data type print false see if i am asking only print false means it will shows the name error because i am not giving i am not asking any type here i am just uh, making that print false i want to make because we are i am not mentioning double quotes also if i am not mentioning double quotes means it will just print the false is not a defined because we have to define that a value before defining without defining we cannot call so next thing set the data types unordered collections set is nothing but it is an unordered collections in python it is iteratable iteratable and mutable so it can be changed after creation if we are creating one time a set we can be changed we can change that sets that is remarkable components it is having one remarkable components the elements of sets have no set order it might return the elements altered sequence either sequence of elements is passed through curly braces thus it will be passed through the curly braces as well as the separated by a comma to create a set or built in the function set it is used to create the set it contain different kinds of values it is having the different kinds of values so here set is it is a change we can change the sets after creation also it is iterable it is iterable but tuples will not uh, iterable so example for this set creating empty set see here set 1 set we are empty we are set creating empty set we are creating set 2 what we are taking three val sorry these are the values james 2 3 python so what see here we are asking to print the set value set 2 if i am asking to print means this all the values will be printed so that all the values will be print adding element to the set if i want to add the element set 2 dot add of 10 it will be added that add 10 will be added the 10 will be added for the uh, set next remove the element from the set set to dot remove of 2 if i want to remove this particular element in the set we can did it that means we can add the element in the set as well as we can delete the element in the set so this is the set example so next references these are the references i am using for the uh, uh, python introduction and this if you are having any queries kindly contact to this uh, um link and uh, thank you